Hello guys, welcome to another exciting episode in our corridor design series. In this video, I'll be showing you how to create this 3D pop-out effect in CorelDRAW. Just simple and easy steps. Right, so without having to say much, let's get into it. So the first thing I'd like to do is go over to File and you're going to click on New. So up here, I'm just going to give it a name like this. Okay, so I'll just have the uh, 3D pop out effect, right? So as usual, like you know before, um, the primary column always stays at RGB. I'll be using uh, 1920, 1080s. So when you convert that to inches, you get a 6.4 by 3.6. Resolution stays at 300. So this is what you have. So you can also use a 1920 by 1080, still the same thing. Double click and um, I'm just going to give this a color like this. Then remove the outline. All right? So when you do that, the next thing you want to do is let me centralize this and um, zoom in more. All right? So you have to go over to your ellipse to hold down control to draw the perfect circle like this. And um, center it in the middle. You can just press P to center it in the middle. And um, take this up slightly like this right great i'm just going to give it white and of course remove the outline okay so at this point now what you want to do is i'm going to make a duplicate copy of that and hold down shift to bring this in right ctrl c ctrl v to make copies right so bring this in and this is the color code i'm going to be applying to this so double click here where you have the color um, click on um, color viewer like this and down here put the code that I just copied so this is the um, color code you need to use so when you do that click OK so this is the color we're working with right great so when you do this OK so let me just position this well so I'm going to make a duplicate copy of this white right so and I'm going to change the color but with this what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to um, interactive field the shortcut is G so I'm going to drag from yes from the natural color to the white color so this is what I'm going to be using or I can change the direction like this alright so whichever way you tend to want to put it is actually fine or I can change it all up like this right but for this one I'm just going to leave it like this okay so I haven't done that I'm just going to bring in this one a bit yes and i'm going to change the color to red All right so and hold down control on your keyboard to add a little bit of blacks to it clicking on black okay i think all our ellipses are okay so the next one is to bring the image itself inside so i've gone ahead to remove the background and i'll just drag and drop inside here right so um the first thing i would like to do is to get rid of this extra space that i have here this space is but before i do that let me reduce this and reduce this to fit the page size right so i'm gonna do this this way and i'm going to go over to the shape to highlight this and i'm going to bring this inside like this holding down the shift key I like this bring this down make sure it's not getting inside of the image hold this down holding down the shift key and bring this one inside as you can see now you don't have them far apart All right great um, so the first thing I want to do is to power clip this image inside of this red first but I'm going to make a bigger copy of it um, okay, let me just power click, right click and uh, click on this circle like this. 
right this way and click on it and click on edit to edit the content click edit yes like this and i'm just going to position it well make sure your image is well above the ellipse you can see the circle you can see where it is so make sure the image is well above the ellipse right you can see now that the ellipse you can see the line of the ellipse so make sure your image is well above it okay because if you don't create it like that um, this whole um, effect is not going to make sense so when you are done copy this right click on finish and paste what you just copied ctrl v to do that so i'm just going to paste this here like this and um copy um okay i'll just do it manually ctrl v to paste okay so with this now few and simple things that we just want to do with this image now so go over to your shape tool so what you want to do now is take this up like this right and what you want to do is also take this inside like this okay great i'm still going to take it inside more so take this inside like this good so this is what you have so i'll just um adjust this top a bit bring this here and um you can double click on the points using your shape tool to add another node which you can use to use to adjust so i'm going to double click add another one and uh, move this inside to create this okay um, i'm gonna make sure i try and get this perfect but you can do this well with your own time and everything but for the purpose of this video i'm just gonna leave mine like this right as you can see we have our nice pop effect like this but that's not all we need to make it more realistic so i'll go over to my base line tool i'm just going to trace out um, this not the entire head just a part of the head so i'm just going to click what i'm just doing is clicking i'm not holding anything i'm just clicking like this so click 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 and click click and bring this inside here like this and end it here okay so i'm just going to give it this color um hold down control to add a little bit of blacks to it make sure it's darker remove the outline like this and there you go i'm going to go to blur gaussian blur and apply some blur to it that's too much so i think at this point is okay but now i'm just going to bring it beneath the image so control page down takes it beneath the image like this so with it still selected you can see still selected right what you want to do is um, let me do that again so i have it still selected like this what you want to do is convert it to bitmap and click ok what you want to do is go to your transparency tool I'm going to be dragging from white to black so always remember black conceals white reveals so I don't want the shadow to be on the forehead side I want it to be behind him like this so that's why I'm actually doing this this way right so easy peasy just like this creates a realistic red shadow right so it depends on the shadow you want to create I only made it red because my background is red and all of that okay so now i would want to do a casting shadow behind um, just below the ellipse to give it this effect that it is kind of on the floor so i'm giving it black um click on transparency click on fountain fill click on this one and um there you go your realistic shadow but it's not realistic enough so to adjust that go to your uh, okay effects and um, go to blow and gaussian blow like this when you do that you create this and it opens up this way and i think i'm okay with the value i have here i love this shadow like 
yes this is more realistic okay so um the next thing i want to do is to apply some cool effects texture to this design so how am i going to do that okay uh, great okay so the next thing is to apply some effects so i'm going to my resource file no yeah good i'm going to bring this in here click on it to rotate it and i'm just going to make it smaller not too big so it just covers the right areas of the background itself so what i'm going to do next is go to effect and i'm going to go to blow gaussian blow i'm not going to apply too much to it just a little to make a difference so click ok um, okay i think this is good click ok go to transparency click on the first one uniform and change the blend mode to what you guessed it right if you said overlay i'm going to increase this all the way to i think 77 is nice take this out right click select power clip inside and click on the rectangle to clip it inside like this i'm going to zoom in this is how we created this effect if you've liked this video and you found it very very helpful and you've continued to this last part don't forget to subscribe and um, turn on the post notification so you don't miss any of the videos i'll be dropping anytime from now i'll see you in the next video